Well, what's going on guys? So today's video brings us to Bronze Hill, two zones away from Martlock. And it was requested to do a little bit of a longer video. So I'm doing around, let's say six minutes. And hopefully that's long enough for you guys. So 6% is the rate of enchanted resources in this one. Normally I like to do 12, but in this case, what happens is that less people actually gather here. So you're getting more regular. So this is actually a better place in my opinion for leveling up your skills, not necessarily silver wise, but you'll also get a lot of enchanted mobs. So it's kind of a more of a, I would say 60, 40 split value wise between getting ore versus getting like just silver and tomes from the actual mobs that you kill. But you will get a lot of regular type things. So you can see here, I look, try to look for the rock formations that are close together. And I use my mount to get as close as possible. So I can gather up as much iron ore and titanium ore as quickly as possible. I even do tier 3 ore. Like tin ore. Uh, even though it's like 700. I do it so quickly now because I have tier 8 gathering. And I'm almost at, I think I'm at 90, level 90 tier 4 spec. So that in addition to having level... Uh, tier 8 on my my mining makes this worthwhile and I usually get around a minimum of 500,000 silver per and that includes the, the, um, the journals and I'll someone suggested that as well so I'll, in the end of this video I'll show you how many journals I got filled and also you know what profit I've made so you could see here I always look for the enchanted berserkers and other tier 5 type mobs because they always have a chance of dropping something even if it's not a tome which is worth like 20,000 they usually give me some kind of items if I kill a group of them and I like to use leap and here I got a 15,000 silver shield which is pretty nice so I use a tier 8 weapon for killing speed here I just get a chest which I'm not going to include but if you hold shift and click you'll be able to collect items quick, much quicker than anyone else. And you don't even have to PVP normally if people don't fight you. Um, so yeah, so the gathering gear, you see the tens in the top left, that'll give me right with right that, yeah, right now with my Avalonian pickaxe, tier eight and the tier eight gathering gear, I get around 150, 160 bonus for tier four. And I think around like one, a low 100 for tier 5 or so there's always a chance of getting double if not triple the ore so I usually get around 700 to a thousand per node for iron ore and anywhere from like 3,000 to 5,000 per node full node for titanium ore and again as I go around the rock formations I usually ignore the uh, the granite and stuff unless I'm killing mobs to get more granite for um, like skill ups because it's not really like value wise someone commented that stone's not worth it right now it's not apparently in the update it, it will be but uh, right now I'm just gathering or improving my, my gathering speed just for to see how fast I could uh, eventually gather each of the zones and maybe I'll come back to these zones once I get higher tier um, of tier 4 and 5 of, of iron ore and titanium ore speed and here I get a tome for 20,000 um, and then I'll come back maybe I can get 600 to 700,000 because what you're looking for too and I don't know if I got one in this video but the actual tomes that you get from gathering you they could range anywhere from 90,000 to 200,000 silver per and sometimes I get one to three per hour which is pretty amazing because that's like 50% of my uh, hourly value I don't think I got that in this, this video, but I still man managed to get, and I'll show you at the end, around the 500,000 mark, which I mentioned in the video. And that's usually my base. So, as I mentioned, um, there's usually full tiers, or f full nodes, which makes this worthwhile because you don't get as many enchanted nodes, so it kind of makes up for the lack of enchanted notes because you're getting a lot more of the regular ore that you could sell. And normally I like to remount up every time so I'm not running anywhere. You want to minimize the, the amount of time you're running.
And I like to use Disembowel for the bleed effect and it's great single target damage, so which is why I went Dagger in the first place and it's fun to play. I do want to be really good at PvP Dagger, so in addition to getting Silver in this run, I'm actually improving my combat skills because these open world mobs, especially the enchanted ones here, they give you solid fame. I got 2,700 from that one and then forgot the exact amount that I got from this Berserker. Here I'd mount up to do a little kiting. 6,000, so that's pretty solid. And then you use a satchel and you get a lot of uh, combat experience. Okay, so the breakdown here. So I started with 143 or something, 1.43, and I'm at 1.96. So a little 550, almost 600,000 um, silver per hour. And journal wise, I got uh, three tier five and five tier four so it's about 30 40 000 in in journals which is not bad and um yeah let me know in the comments below if you like this video if you want a longer video than this i, I doubled the length of my previous one and i'm going to continue doing some more yellow zone farming and i'll post my videos but let me know what improvements i can make thanks for watching